what is going on everybody welcome back to trading learning 101 today i want to talk about patience and having discipline i remember when i first started out as a day trader and learning about the stock market every morning right before the bell would ring and the market would open i would get all excited hearts racing i wanted to make money and i wanted to make money fast and i thought the only way to make money was right at the open because i've heard and seen so many gurus say you're gonna make the most money the first half hour one hour the market's open you see a stock gapping up 100 200 300 percent pre-market all you're thinking about is wow look at, at how much money I can make on this stock disregarding the risk that you can take trading the stock whenever you get FOMO fear of missing out you get anxious and excited and giddy I would highly recommend walking away for at least 10 to 15 minutes and then coming back and restarting with the clear mind go in the corner meditate have a cup of coffee maybe go for a walk because in the stock market it's all about having patience patience pays in the stock market and i want to talk about today acre acre had a big run up yesterday from two dollars and 76 cents all the way up to almost six dollars and then today the next day the stock opens up at six dollars and just rips all the way up to almost nine dollars in the first half hour of the day the stock ran all the way up from six to nine dollars sure you can trade that on your way up but for me as a day trader i want a sort of direction i'm not here to really gamble i want to place trades off of risk versus reward ratios who knows how much further this could have ran up and ran up and ran up i want some type of guide from the past to help me guide the future statistically high of day breakouts fail a lot more so if you have a guru out there that's teaching you to buy high of day breakouts and that's all they're teaching you how to trade and their low float stocks majority of the gurus out there are just low float pump and dump chat rooms that's all they are i'm not going to name any names they're good to follow because i know they have sheep but i want to point a few things out here with acre and you could see acre just had a big death candle from 760 down to 670 but just basic technical analysis can take you a long way you could have missed this big big run up this morning all right here waited for the stock to retrace like it did right here and get in on a good bounce for a nice little profit and it's all about observing and paying attention to detail putting your emotions aside waiting for the stock to give you hints drawing your lines and trusting in your process now what do i mean by trusting in your process looking at the stock for hints here's a few hints right here and i'll draw it out seven dollars was a key key level for acre this morning right when the market opened with these wicks right here these upper wicks it could not get above seven and then it kept pulling back to the VWAP at 650. Then we got this big surge candle right up to $7 again, consolidates right at that $7, and then surges up to $8 and runs into a halt. Stock opens back up this big death candle right here in this wick. Look at right where it bounced at that $7 area. So $7 has hinted to me one two three times the magic number in the stock market the number three that seven dollars was an area of interest and the thing about the stock market it's all about reacting reacting to what you're seeing even right here you see this big flush down to a lot of people this will scare a lot of people but if you're a professional trader you put your emotions aside you look at what the chart is telling you 
It's bouncing off of seven with this big deep flush. I know you've heard people say in the past, buy fear, sell greed. Buy fear at seven. This ran all the way up to another halt right there immediately up to eight dollars and fifty cents from seven dollars in three minutes a dollar fifty surge up off that seven dollars but let's say all this action right here is still it's too wild and crazy for you that's totally fine. There is still opportunity out there. Even for me, I don't like trading stocks when it's wild and crazy. The tape's going 100 miles an hour. The level 2 is just going off the charts. The stock's ripping up 30 cents, ripping down 40 cents. I like to wait for things to settle down and then possibly get into a position. But now that we've pointed out seven dollars was a key level for acre right here let it run all the way up let it top out and then let it start to retrace as it did right here it retraced all the way down right here to that seven dollar area right there that is a great trading opportunity right there and at 10 30 an hour after the market has been open this stock bounces from seven dollars and grinds all the way up to seven dollars and fifty cents a nice 50 cent grind took takes five minutes if the stock didn't hold seven dollars put your stop just below seven have a nice little risk to reward ratio to protect yourself you always want to worry more about risk than their reward as a day trader risk management i consider myself a professional risk manager once you start worrying more about the risk rather than the reward you'll start to see more consistency i would say as a trader but that right there is a great risk versus reward trade off of seven dollars right here i would say that's a nice one to five uh ratio right there you're risking 10 cents 20 cents to make 50 cents on a stock tops out at 750 pulls back to 710 720 and then grinds all the way up to 780 and then look it you have all these people who are jumping in and chasing all right here and the stock flushes on them all the way down to 670 and just runs into a halt it's all about how you look at the chart and i've said it in many 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 of my videos in the past technical analysis is an art form pay attention to what the chart is telling you pay attention to the candlesticks what hints are the candlesticks giving you and you could see acre just opened back up got halted at 670 opens up at 630 and now it's going down to six dollars this will probably bounce off of six and surge right up to 670 but you also have to think too you've just had two days of people buying it from three dollars all the way up to nine dollars just buying and buying and buying and buying and buying and then you have your swing traders who all jump in right here they jump in and then the next day the stock gaps up everybody who bought it all right here is going to be selling it for a profit all right here that's why the stock's crashing now you could have a nice little morning pop little bounce after it retraces and then the back side of the move starts to happen but i wanted to make a quick video to talk about the topic having patience having discipline and just trusting in your process i can't tell you guys how much money i've lost listening to all of those gurus out there that tell you to chase after breakouts high of day breakouts pattern breakouts statistically they fail and it only works with them you got to think about it you have a guru talking about buying high of day breakouts and he's got a thousand people following him and chasing after what he's trading of course it's gonna work 
especially if he's trading low float stocks. You got a stock with the float of 1 million. It's going for a high of day breakout. He buys a thousand shares and then he's got a thousand 500 people behind him buying a thousand shares floats only 1 million even if it's 500 people and they're all buying 1,000 shares that's 500,000 shares that's half of the float right there of course the stock is gonna rip up and surge they just bought half of the float low float penny stocks can be very profitable but they can also be very risky if you don't know what you're doing Every day, look at charts, look at charts, break down the charts, break down the charts every single day, write down on the chart, take a screenshot of the chart, what all do you see, write down everything and break it down, do that every day, 365 days in a year I think, doing that you're just going to get better and better and faster and better and faster and you're going to see so many things happen over and over and over again because remember our brains are natural pattern seekers you're going to start to see patterns and things happen over and over and that's when things are going to start to click for you so if you're new save that money save it build that trading account up and just study charts be in the markets every day even if it's only for a couple hours Get that screen time in. It's like the 10,000 hour rule. You practice something for 10,000 hours, you become a master at it. You're in the stock market putting in two hours of screen time a day, 365 times two, that's 730 hours a year you could have in the stock market. Studying on the weekends, throughout the week, gotta make sacrifice for a better future. I've been doing this for five years and I've came from nothing. If I can do it, you guys can do it. And I'm still young in my journey and my career as a day trader and this is only the beginning and I've come this far in five years. Like I've said, if I can do it, you can all do it. I used to be a truck driver, a cook, now I'm a day trader in the stock market. If you're into psychology, I have many psychology videos and I've created a few psychology courses. I will leave that playlist down in the description below. I have over 300 videos on my channel. There are so many golden nuggets on this channel. Go through those videos, watch them, take notes. Knowledge is key, everybody. Be safe out there. Until next time, everybody, have that patience, have that discipline, and study, study, study. Later, everybody. The most valuable commodity I know of is information.